there folks. What a glorious day it is to be on the water. So the weather forecast is rain, 80% precipitation, winds are moderate, 15 to 20 kilometers south south easterly, and uh, that's good enough for me. So today we're out in a horse free, and um, the plan is for a boat camp. Now, um, there's a reason why I'm actually braving the weather and being out here today. Um, of late, the fishing reports have been going off, and uh, the fishing in this particular area is really hot. Now, I'm not going to elaborate on the particular species that we're targeting because I find that in the past, when I mentioned the species that we're targeting, I don't seem to land one. So, as for now, there's a bit of um, a travel to the spot. I'm going to keep moving forward and um, check back in once we're at the spot. Okie dokie, folks. A really wild ride in the rain. Throughout the spot. And if you haven't picked it already, the spot is um, a famous flint and steel in the Hawkesbury. Alright, let's cast one in. Too long. Ah, oh, I dropped it. Okay, folks. So we've moved once again. <laughs> Man, the other spot, the wind picked up and it was killing me. And plus, the rain was coming down really hard. So right now we're in uh, Jerusalem Bay, just midway down. And um, I have had, I have some intel that uh, this particular spot holds some pretty good fish. And right about now, there's another hour or so of daylight. So I'm I'm hoping as the sun goes down, uh, the bite should be heating up. Okay, so I'll wait for the next flight. 
It's time to knock up some dinner. I haven't eaten nothing all day and I'm starving. Um, on the menu tonight, it's just going to be a bit of rice and some lamb chops. And um, I have a sensational recipe that I have in mind for that hair towel. But uh, I'll have it probably for breakfast or if not tomorrow night. Right, so it's time to eat now hopefully um, I get to finish my meal before I get another hook up so I'll just give you a quick close-up on what's for dinner got a couple of uh, lamb chops there and just some steamed rice which set me back nicely Can you hear it? Hear the drain? Yeah. I think this is a hair towel. Another hair towel. Good stuff. Yeah. Sliding like hair towel. Ooh. Are you talking? Huh? Are you filming? Yeah, I got the, I got, I got the, got the, yeah, you can talk. It's alright. It's all good. I'm gonna get my gas. Hang on. Uh. Oh, Alright, it's fighting hard this one. Land it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Baby Jewy's Central. That's no, another. It's under. I'll let this one go. Need my gas. Oh. Oh, I have to swing it in. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't know. Yeah, it says it is. Okay. Okay. Vanilla, sugar, chocolate. I think um, <laughs> I'm at Baby Dewey Central at the moment. Uh, uh, Captured some on, I've captured some on film, but I've uh, been getting hit by baby dew after baby dew. So I think um, the last two baits out here, I'm going to call it a night and go to sleep. Check back in in the morning, and uh, tomorrow will be another day.
Oh. Just as I want to go slip. Look at the baby Jew. Jew oh, fish central. Ah, there, there. Where'd you go? Now, I'm going to sleep. Good morning folks. It's just going on sunrise now. Man, there was some wild night. <laughs> fish, bait fish was splashing them all around and the rain really came down. I was so knackered, I just had to go to sleep. So we ended up with three hair towel. Can't seem to get through the baby jewfish to get to the other hair towel. Lost a couple of them. But um, yeah, nonetheless, it's not a bad result anyway. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a coffee now and then um, the tide's coming down. Might go do a bit of foraging and after that we'll have some breakfast. Alrighty, so we're at my usual foraging ground. The tide hasn't fully gone down yet. Um, I'd say give it about another half an hour. So while we wait for the tide to go down, let's give you a quick look at that, um, our result from last night there. Yep, so we've got three lovely hair towel. That's the average size. They're certainly not uh, monsters, but um, still good eating size. And um, for breakfast, um, I'll be doing our catch and cook hair towel. What, I'm, what I plan to make today is um, a green curry with the hair towel, and that should be sensational. Uh, along with some, probably some oysters uh, after I gather some. But for now, while we wait, I think I'll uh, prepare all the ingredients. Alright, one nice chunk like that should do nicely for breakfast. Let's take the guts out. So while I've been um, waiting for the tide to go down, this has been my view for the last half an hour. just started raining since the last time I filmed and it hasn't stopped raining seems to be getting heavier I think I'll give um, foraging a miss today just wait for the rain to die down and I'll knock up breakfast 
Alrighty, finally so the rain's died down so I can knock up my breakfast now. Man, I am starving. Alright, so as mentioned, um, I'm going to be having a, a green curry today with a hair towel. These are the ingredients there. It's the veggies, along with that chunk of hair towel. Alrighty, so the oil looks hot. Start off, I started off with the aromatics. That's just a bit of chopped garlic, some fresh lemongrass, a few capped lime leaves. Let's just brown that off a little bit. The aromas that are coming off are sensational. Now we just add the green curry paste and fry that off a little bit. I think for this batch, I'll go. Two teaspoons. Oh yeah. Nothing like a green curry. Okay. Next up, go in the onions. Chopped carrots. Capsicum. Just bung in all the veg. Okay, so that's coming along nicely. We'll add the coconut cream. We'll just let that simmer in there for a bit. Oh, we're making a mess of the place. Also add in a bit of water, just to um, dilute it and help it cook a little bit. And we'll put it on a slow simmer. As it reduces, the veggies will cook until they're tender. That's how little taste. Mm. Mm, that coconut cream is quite sweet and ooh and that Thai curry has got a kick to it eh? it's quite hot okay so there's enough sweetness in there um, they all could use a little salt so I'll just add some fish sauce that's the salt element stir that through now that was just a guesstimate it's about a tablespoon there yep that's perfect the curry is reducing quite nicely. Now it's time to add the hair towel. We'll let that simmer for about five minutes and I'll flip it over. It is done. Time to dish up. So I'll garnish it with um, some fresh basil from my garden. There you have it. Hair towel green curry. Now let's see what it tastes like. Get some of that green curry sauce into the rice. Oh man. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry. <laughs> or it's um it actually really tastes good i think i'm gonna go with it it's sensational mm. so that's um the hair towel there now i've eaten hair towel um many various ways and this is the first time i've done a green curry well, i'm quite certain it's going to work out just fine because fish goes well in pretty um pretty much any curries And hair towel is even better. Now, um, if you're running out of ideas of what to cook for hair towel, I highly recommend do it in the green curry. It's sensational. Mm -hmm. More that. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's unbelievable. Okay, back. I think I'm going to wrap up this video. I was going to stay another night, but um, just checked on the forecast. Uh, the weather's not going to hold out. I've got a little patch of lovely weather right now. It's 
predicted to pick up by uh, early afternoon. So um, as for now, I've got to kick back and enjoy this breakfast of mine. Probably uh, just chill here in Jerusalem Bay for, an, for another couple of hours before I head home. Might go for a swim. I've got this whole place literally to myself and it's just how I like it, the occupancy. But I um, hope you enjoyed the video guys and until the next one, bye for now.